Welcome to another update on Typhoon Jebby 25W. Coming on the screen is a earlier look at Tokyo and their Huawei system. And the threat remains for the entire mainland of Japan. Here's a look at the satellite imagery of the typhoon up to a few hours ago. 25W or Jebby is located 19 decimal 6 degrees north. 139 decimal 2 degrees east, winds 140 knots and at this point in time central pressure is 9.15 millibars. Joy Typhoon Warning Centre has a 333 nautical mile southwest at UA2 uh, Japan tracking west northwest at 11 knots over the last 6 hours and wave height has increased it's now 46 feet here's the latest tracks from the joint typhoon warning center and the japanese meteorological agency there are various local uh, warnings in place for japan and Unrelated to Typhoon Jebby, uh, emergency services overnight or yesterday had to evacuate around 7,000 people due to flooding issues. Animated MSI shows that the system maintains a sharply outlined eye, 27 nautical mile diameter after going through an eye wall replacement. Upper level divergence is very healthy, it's up around the 40 knots. Super Typhoon is in an area with low vertical wind shear, robust radial outflow enhanced by a TUTT cell to the northwest. Warm sea surface temperatures uh, 2931, the shear tendency, uh, the A50 millibar vorticity. The typhoon will turn more poleward towards a break in the steering ridge within 48 hours. It will crest the ridge axis and cross into the poleward side, diminishing outflow. The NOAA floaters, and you can clearly see that Jebby has maintained a I'm going to say an outstanding uh, eye, that's for my own personal position. Here's a look at the VORAC. By 72 hours, the typhoon will accelerate northward to northeast towards central Honshu and exiting into the Sea of Japan by 120 hours. Now we have a look at the Pivotal Weather website, it's the GFS model and the total precipitation. Uh, the scale is at the bottom of the screen and what I'm looking at is the area in yellow through the dark brown. We will continue to bring the latest information on this, we'll also keep an eye on the East Pack and the 
a Caribbean region. Here's a look at a couple of uh, models starting off with the GFS. And a HWRF. Tropical tidbits and one track. And you can definitely see uh, the model consensus appears to be a north northwest or even north northwest direction. You can follow Force 13's outlets, the website force13.com with you at any time. You can also find our YouTube page if you're not there already, subscribed hopefully. And you can also follow our Facebook page, search Force 13 all in text. Videos are now there as well. And you can follow us on Twitter, at Force 13 is our handle. And it's hashtag F13 Sulik if you'd like to draw our attention to anything in future live events or whatnot. You can also help the project become even better by becoming a patron with its various rewards that come with that feature as well. And you can add me personally, Fool13 at extension 9094 on Discord and Force13 on Skype for tropical weather chat.